um, let's go and let's watch some Goto matches. Guys, let me know how well the um the sound is. If it's too loud, too low, let me know. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a World X Cup Tag Team Contest that is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, they represent Team Japan, Hiroko Goto and Minoru. Oh, we got to see these guys at lockdown when they beat Team USA. This is taking us back to memory lane, huh? Position. Listen here, down yeah, there, and uh, yeah, don't man. worry about that. It's the coach, Scott Demore of Team Canada. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna get some real insight into the World X Cup from you. Well, first of all, just want to let you know, I've retooled my Team Canada. Bobby Roode, A1, greatest athletes in the world, not truly X Division competitors. So, in addition to Eric Young and the captain, Petey Williams, out here doing some scouting and taking some notes, I've added two of Canada's finest. Johnny Devine returning to action here in TNA, and making his debut, Tyson Dukes, the dancing fool. Oh, really? This World X Cup Wild. Well, obviously, Team Canada needs to do something after what happened at lockdown and all the you know what? Don't even talk, had to don't go even through. talk about oh, that. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah. That was a long night for you. That lockdown, you got it, man. Boy, I'll tell you what. I hate to give credit to an American, but this Alex Shelley, he's solid. Sanjay Dutt, not really in his league. But I'll, boy, I'll tell you, what is Chris Saban thinking? Him and Jerry Lynn, they're so smart. Why would you have nice. Shelley in there with Dutt? It's obvious Dutt has some type of issue with Shelly. Are you watching this now? Despite the fact that Shelly's the one who carries all of Team USA, if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't even have a chance. Not that they really do, because we're taking the whole thing. Opening minutes of this matchup, and Shelly and Dutt working as a coach. Oh, he wrestles the bleed. I tell you what, let's talk about that anthem match. I don't want, no, 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 no. Yeah, you did, Greg. Don't worry, it'll be on my sub stack. Hold on, you definitely missed my uh, Hangman Adam Page rant. You definitely missed that, just so you know. And how Alex Shelley seems to have changed his ways and really worked together as a team with the rest of Team USA. And after hanging out with you for so long, I didn't think that was going to be possible. <laughs> 
Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, look at this. You really think Team USA, when they can't even get along, come on, you really think they're going to keep getting along? Are they going to beat the former IWGP Tag Team Champions? Not a chance. Minoru, oh, Goto, come on. They're way out of the league of the Yeah, Americans. Funuki, uh, Funaki did retire. The way that these Japanese wrestlers can go. But I think you had to be impressed with Team Japan when they won that six sides of steel cage match against Team USA at lockdown. Sort of a preview to the World X Cup, and this is the first match in the first round. I was so impressed right there. As you see right there, Hiroki Goto. I was so impressed with Goto. I was so I was so impressed with Manuru and the way that they work together. I've got to admit, teams all over the world, like Team Japan, know how important this World X Cup trophy is, and they want to come over here to go. You mentioned Chris Saban earlier. Of course, Chris Saban, yes, he's the captain of the team. And when you factor in the experience of hey, the Jerry Lynn and Chris Saban. USA, Jerry Lynn, and you know Jerry Lynn is there in the ear of Chris Saban, scouting the other teams and giving him information. I think Team USA has to be one of the favorites. Oh, give me a break. That's a blind leading the blinds. You think that's brain trust? You take that combined energy, and as a great Bobby Heater would say, they couldn't harness enough energy to blow their nose. Give me a break. Mm. Jerry Lynn's going to give guys to Chris Saban. One's an idiot, the other's a fool. Check out Minoru, taken down from the top by Shelly. Goto immediately charges into the ring, and Goto and Shelly up in no man's land. Shelly able to knock Goto down to the canvas, and he goes, oh, what a shot right to the chest of Goto. Wow. Poor Goto. You can see Alex Shelly, and that's the Alex Shelly we're going to have to see. The USA is going to win this World Cup title. Well, oh, hold on. They look shit. Team Japan's going to be victorious here. Crap. Over the course of the next several weeks, here on Spike TV on Impact, you will see this ongoing World X Cup tournament as we see Sanjay hit the leg drop in for the pin. Technical difficulties. Give me a second. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, I didn't know that shit. I learned something new. I learned something new. You can see Alex Shelley, and that's the Alex Shelley we're going to have to see if the USA is going to win this World Cup title. Well, I'll tell you, Shelley's great, but Gut's not going to be able to carry his load. Team Japan's going to be victorious here. Over the course of the next several weeks, here on Spike TV on Impact, you will see this ongoing World X Cup tournament as we see Sanjay hit the leg drop in for the pin. Minoru win to break it up. Finals go down. Sacrifice on pay-per-view May the 14th. And, of course, the Team Japan captain, Jushin Thunder Liger. Yes, he's headed to the U.S. to be a part of this World X Cup. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll shake Liger's hand. He's a great athlete. I'll shake his hand. Great athlete. Oh. 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 Double drop kick by Sanjay oh. Oh. How about a super kick from Shelly? And he just Man. rocked Goto. I he miss this commentary team. Shelly takes up Minoru. Sanjay oh. hit him with a leg drop. drop. Yep. Here we go. Look at this teamwork by Team USA. I got to admit, I'm shocked that Shelly and Duck been able to work like this. It's not going to last through the tournament, though. Petey, you getting all this on your notes? Oh. Oh. Sanjay springs off the middle rope. Closes down on Goto. Oh. 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 He breaks it up. Make a note of that, Petey. They're really quick on breaking up those pin blocks. Minoru with the drop kick. That sends Shelly out to the floor. Attention turned to Sanjay Dutt. Oh, this is where it is. That's isolated. He's in trouble now. No, Goto nails him with the drop kick on the top ropes here. And Team Japan okay, has the momentum, fixed. Mike. Missile drop okay. kick by Goto. Yeah. The three-year pro oh. takes him up and over. What a back drop suplex. Pin, two, go. That time he got the shoulder up. Barely rolled the shoulder before the three count. I'll tell you what, this Team Japan's impressive. Petey makes some notes. We're going to have to be ready for them. They're going to be solid. Goto going to take that up into the air and powers him down to the canvas again. Leg hook, pin, now broken up by Shelly. Split second, he got that by a split second when you talked about Goto and lockdown, Mike. And you are right, he is so impressive for such a young superstar. And Zagiri drilled him in the back of the head, ready for a little slice of bread. He caught him with the Shiridu. Sanjay, That's nice. Two,
All right, so before we get into the other one, uh, what the other one is going to be a very wonderful treat, um, you know, that was uh, Goto and Minoru. My brain wanted to say like Minoru Suzuki, but definitely that's not him. Uh, taking on uh, Alex Shelley and, and Sanjay Dutt. And it brought back memories of like just watching Alex Shelley and Sanjay Dutt back in the day. Um, and this was a treat for TNA to have that partnership with New Japan Pro Wrestling at the time to have them come over, have them get some, uh, have them get some, I don't want to say reps in, but basically some reps in so for them to get used to uh, an American crowd. Um, but yes, uh, Minoru Tanaka. There we go. Um, my brain remembers Suzuki more than anything, but uh, Goto had teamed up with Minoru Tanaka, just so that way there's no confusion out there. Uh, again, taking on uh, Alex Shelley and Sanjay Dutt. And Scott the Moore is such a uh, a lively character, man. From all the way then, when he first showed up in TNA, to all the way now. And it's just really great to watch and go back through the years and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I figured Goto left to Mexico after this. Uh, most Japanese guys, they go either to Mexico or they go to, to the UK to train and, you know, get some more um, knowledge about wrestling and, you know, basically do what they got to do. Um, but, yeah, that was a very great match. Uh, for everyone that is watching this on uh, Substack after the fact, um, you know, make sure to leave a comment, like, uh, let me know your thoughts on it, you know, um, let me know what you think, uh, and I would definitely be responding to each and every one of those messages. Um, so basically, uh, our next one is a treat. I found this one while searching cause I was, uh, trying to find a specific, uh, Goto versus Tama match, but this one came up. So we're definitely going to go travel back in time to 2011, where we get to watch Goto versus Tama. This is before Tama got his Tama Tonga, the good guy, bad guy um, persona and everything. Man, like, I I was watching this. I didn't watch the ending, but I was watching it a little bit. And, um, you know, I couldn't help but uh, smile and uh, just know how far uh, Tama has come in this business and just see the difference, the difference in like when he first started to like now it's, it's really an improvement. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, and also when Tama got into new Japan pro wrestling, uh, Goto was basically like the first person that they put him with, uh, like under his wing, just to like, you know, show him around and do this. So they always had a very clear rivalry, uh, history, uh, together. Um, and you know, they always have like the really good matches. Uh, so this is, this is like, this is young Tama taking on Goto, which I'm excited for you guys to see. That's how young we're going back with Tama. At least the code of honor is respected. And Tama out here looking like uh, Jimmy Snooker in his freaking video. And there goes Red Shoes. Red Shoes been around forever. Yeah, Mike, I was happy to find this one. Wonderful waste and then go around. But 
Goto over here is too, is too smart, so headed up to the ropes to cause a rope break. The crowd really does like Tama at this stage anyway. Like, you hear that he has, like, a little bit of fans in the crowd and whatnot. Goto here having a very nasty tight headlock on Tama. Tama tried to shoot him off into the ropes, but that didn't work. Goto's definitely controlling this match in the beginning. Nice headlock takeover. But... Tama answers for him for his own, but Goto's too quick with it. That was a nice deep arm drag. Evening match at this point. Very good technicians in the ring. Tama and his um, snooker type gear having a lot to prove. I was about to say like Suzuki gear. Like, it's not even Suzuki gear. Test of strength between these guys. Goto immediately into a wrist lock. Do you see the lovely speed that Tama has? Just to get Goto back into a headlock. Definitely a tight, heavy he headlock. So I'm going to try to show the tackle, but that doesn't really work. Goto, stronger than Tama. Knocking him down with his own shoulder tackle. Sending Tama off into the corner. Clothesline. Tama just... Tama does a drop kick here. Basically stunning Goto. Beautiful suplex off the top rope. But Goto's not going to be put away that easily. Body slam into his leg drop. But again, it takes more than just that to put down Goto. Goto th um, Tama throwing some um, elbows to Goto's head. That was very well scouted by Tama to move out the way when uh, Goto was going to come down with his elbow and then to shoot off the ropes with his own uh, shotgun dropkick. His fancy elbows. But again, the resilience that uh, Goto has. He ain't going down so easily. This is why I enjoy um, Goto's work. Goto has like super resiliency. He can definitely absorb a lot of punishment. As we can see here, exchange of strikes. Oh, 
That wonderful speed, but that clothesline took him down. Strong kicks from Goto. That wonderful kick in the corner. And then a Saido suplex. Thomas trying for one of his own Saito suplexes or even a back suplex at this point. But Goto fights out of it. Wonderful back leaf frog into a front leaf frog. Thomas finally takes down Goto with one of his own shots. Thomas splash in the corner. Regular back body drop. But again, Goto with that resiliency, he's not going to give up. He's not going to let Tama get the three count. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful corkscrew body splash in the corner onto Goto, but Goto kicks out. Tama has been getting some really nice, perfect near falls, but that's all it was. That's all it is is near falls. The early version of the tongue and twist. The tongue and twist to Goto, but Goto's kicking out, man. His fans in in in, in the thing is so cute. <laughs> Goto using his leg strength to uh, flip over Tama when Tama had a butterfly lock. A headbutt takes both of them out, and they're both down. The fans cheering for Tama is adorable. Oh, stalemate with the clotheslines or lariats if you want to call them that. Leaf frog. Oh. Goto caught him in that German, but Tom is just as resilient as uh, Goto. I believe that's the. You're Garoshi. I might have fucked that up. And then someone has to remind me about Goto's other finisher. That pendulum like drop. So. Goto is our winner. Tama did a fantastic job. Against Goto. Okay.
I don't have the uh, subtitles on for him uh, to translate. Uh, but that was a very fantastic uh, job by both men. I hope you guys enjoyed my live commentary. I don't do live commentary at all. Uh, but if you guys like that and want to hear me try to do live commentary on the fly, let me know. Because I do want to get booked for um, wrestling events to do commentary and stuff. I do have a playlist over on my YouTube channel um, about, uh, you know, me doing commentary, but that's me sitting, watching, taking notes, then doing it and then like editing it. So that way, you know, it can sound right. Like how it's supposed to, um, maybe I review too much and I don't know. Um, but that was an excellent match. Let me know if you guys want me to do more live commentary, which I should be a little more livelier. I'm already doing the self constructive criticism to to me about my own commentary uh but let me know in a comment below when you guys watch this on uh my substack newsletter uh marieshadows.substack.com uh but this was a very fun match where we get to see Goto uh being the resilient uh fighter that he is and then Tama being like super early into New Japan Pro Wrestling in his Jimmy Snooker gear that's what I'm gonna call it um, and before Tama became the good guy, bad guy, as we all know and love him as, uh, which by the way, today is June 9th. So, uh, we, today should be the online, the virtual meet and greet with, uh, Tama, which is going to be on, uh, YouTube. Um, you know, that's going to be very, very, very fun. Um, but yeah, again, that was a perfect match to show off how well Goto is, how well he fights with his opponents. Um, and we are going to be watching one more, but we are definitely going to be doing that after the break. So right now I'm taking Q and A, um, just so that way, uh, you know, after the break, we could definitely watch the other last match, uh, for today. Um, yeah. By the way, ads start in a minute, so if you do not want ads, uh, make sure to throw me that Twitch Prime or to sub. Uh, that's the only way to not get ads, to get interrupted. To not get interrupted. Um... Yeah. Um Let's run the ads now. I forgot that New Japan Pro Wrestling can do picture in picture. Yeah, um, any questions, you know, let me know, because we have, like, two minutes before we, uh, before we start the next one, which I probably should have just started it, but, oh, well, um, Let me go promote <laughs> some stuff, I guess. All right, uh, everything looks good on my end.
ニュージャパンカップトーナメント2回戦時間無制限一本勝負を行います。I still find it funny that the camera focused on that one dude. I was like, what? <laughs> like, who is this guy? This is the match that I was、um, trying to find. Because Tama had this match in, on his IG, and I was like, what match is this? So, Tama coming out the gate with that damn dropkick was either smart or not smart. It really was smart. But, you know, even、uh, watching it a second time, because I was watching it a little bit、uh, before、uh, letting you guys watch it, just because I was like, hey, I need to make sure this is the right one that I found.、Um, man, Tama coming out the gate with his damn quick、uh, dropkick to try to get the one up on, on Goto. Uh, very smart choice, but obviously, Goto was like, I've seen this way too many times before, kid. Tama with aggressive shots, body shots. Goto doesn't know what hit him. Goto's trying to get his breath, recover, but Tama's not letting up on this. This is for the New Japan Cup. So, in, in the New Japan Cup, you don't let your opponents rest if you really, really want it. You go after them. That's a very tight and powerful headlock, side headlock. Tama still remaining in control of Goto with that powerful side headlock. Goto trying to shoot him off into the ropes, but. Tama has control of that. This is very reminiscent to the last match that we watched, their first ever match that they had in 2011. Hey, J Quick, what's up? Another shoulder tackle. Tama misses with that jab. Goto got Tama's number at this point. Beautiful hip toss. Followed up with a kick to the back. Tama at this point is、uh, going to the outside to gain some composure, think about his next move. Obviously, Goto still has his number at this point. And you can see the young lions around the ring, which is、uh, Jay White.、Um, Master Wado is out there too.、Uh, Finley is out there.、Um, Juice Robinson is out there. So you can definitely see the young lions out there. I think I named all the young lions. Thomas smartly breaking the count while he tries to regroup and think what he's going to do next. 
but then also baiting Goto to come out too, because that's a Bullet Club tactic. But this is before Bullet Club, though. It should be before Bullet Club. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's during Bullet Club. During Bullet Club. Drop kick to Goto to keep him on the outside. Like. Time of throwing Goto into the barricade. I would say this time and time again. Bullet Club is the most dangerous team to have on the outside. You never want to get Bullet Club on the outside. Surprisingly, Tama is uh, backing off while Red Shoes uh, checks on Goto. Like, Red Shoes has seen Tama grow up in front of his eyes in New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is kind of nice. It's kind of interesting. Tama at this point is like, fuck it. Throws him onto the hardest part of the ring. Getting back into the ring. Wanting to win this by count out, probably. Goto gets in right by the count before 20. More body shots by Tama. Oh, oops. The Tama splash. And that fancy elbow that he does. Going back to a chin lock instead, not even a um, a side head lock. Go to with some buddy punches to let Tama break his grip for a second. Tama does, but then reapplies that that rare chin lock. Tama going after the knee. Lariat takes down Tama. The fans, man, the fans really love both Goto and Tama. You're the one fan that screened out Tama Chan. That's so cute. Goto trying to get some offense here on Tama. Goto again with that lariat. with that combination of spitting leg click, kick into the uh, Saida suplex but this time around Tama has gained some resiliency while he's been in Japan for a good couple of years so this isn't going to be an easy victory for Goto some back elbow shots but didn't capitalize, waited too long, had Goto kick him in the stomach with that kick. But spears always work. We get that big spear from Tama.
Goto has like all the resiliency in the world. Simple forearm exchanges between the two. Oh, Goto just throwing Tama's head back into his knee. That was so devastating. Look nasty. Goto has Tama up on his shoulders. But Tama manages to fight out. Tries to go for a gun stun. Okay, I'm going to pause it there because, like, that sequence... Well, maybe I'll, I'll move it up a little bit. Okay, so so that sequence alone, like, popped me. Um, the same way that I think most of you guys would get, like, super excited for it. Um, and that was the sequence of, like, his speed against Goto of what Tama was showing on his IG. And I was trying to find this match, and I finally did find it. And that was super amazing, the way that Tama was coming off the ropes, the way that uh, he, distri not distracted, uh, basically uh, misdirection all around between these two guys. Um, and then finally being able to catch Goto in um, the gun stun. And I think through the years, uh, Tama could pull the gun stun out of anywhere now, so, you know, we could definitely do, like, you know, the gun stun out of nowhere, um, currently, uh, but while he was coming up in New Japan and making his name in New Japan and using certain moves that were passed down to him from the previous Bullet Club members before they left for Greener Pastures, that, you know, um, you know, he was working on everything that was, you know, given to him to make it his own and have his own spin on it. Um, and that's why I didn't like narrate during, uh, that little sequence because that sequence gets me every time I probably should have to make it a little more exciting, but I want you guys to enjoy the moment. Um, but yeah, I just want to comment on that. Like once I saw that on his IG, I was like, I have to find this match. What match is this? And he was using that as preparation for, um, this coming uh, weekend, which is June 12th, New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion, where uh, Tama Tonga takes on uh, Carl Anderson for uh, Tama's never open weight championship title. Which, by the way, there's no way that, that New Japan is going to have Tama drop that belt to Carl Anderson. Like, no way. Tama just wanted, like, let us have a victory. You know, New Japan and Bullet Club had a victory when. They kicked Tama and Loa out. Let us have a victory now that Tama found a home and basically, like, is champion. So let us have that victory, New Japan. Tommy here has Goto in a front face lock. Is he planning? Oh, trying to go for a butterfly underhook. Goto reverses it. Back body drop. That knee completely stuns Tama. Tama uses the referee as a shield. Bullet club tactics. And Tama jumps and does a headbutt to Goto. But Goto just absorbs it. Kick. And we get a three count, even though it was like a two count, in my opinion. But yeah, go um, 
Goto advances in the New Japan Cup of 2016. Um, unfortunately, Tama does not. Oh. Alright, I have no idea what's happening. I don't think that uh we should uh see Okada at the moment. Like I didn't I didn't get to see what happens next. Um 